This is, unmistakably, a Stegosaurus, 150 million years gone, as far away in the fossil record from T-Rex as T-Rex is from us, and still a nearly universally recognizable icon of the age of dinosaurs. Nothing quite like it has existed since. Any T-Rex paleontologist that dug up the bones of this creature probably would have asked themselves many of the same questions as we do today. What were those plates for? Why was its brain so small? How the heck did these animals get it on? And most importantly, were any of them left-handed? Stegosaurus' most distinctive feature and its claim to fame is its plates. There is really no equivalent accoutrements in the animal kingdom, living or dead. It is a thing truly unique to the Stegosaurus. Besides their striking appearance, the plates demonstrate another design feature rare in the pantheon of life. External chirality. Chirality is asymmetry. Organisms on Earth are generally symmetrical. One side of the body is more or less a mirror image of the other. Take a human, cut it down the middle, head to toe, and each side is generally identical to the other, like paper dolls. There are exceptions, of course, fiddler crabs, some snail shells and plants. Humans have chiral motor skills. We show a preference for our right or left hand, and so did the Stegosaurus, it seems. Stegosaurus didn't have hands, of course, but the arrangement of their plates was distinctively chiral. The largest plate sat over the hips, and it could lean either to the right or left. We have found evidence of right-leaning plate arrangements, but there is no clear evidence of left-leaning plates. It's possible all stegosaurs were right-handed. This is homochirality. We can see it in the architecture of the sugar molecules in our DNA, which are exclusively right-handed. Or were stegosaurs more like humanity? mostly right-handed, but with a minority population of southpaws? Or were there an equal number of right-handed and left-handed stegosaurs, but we haven't found the complementary fossil evidence yet? Paleontologists, human or T-Rex, are equally stumped. The reason humans are right-handed or left-handed is complicated and not entirely understood. There is little reason to believe we'll be able to understand the chirality of an animal that went extinct over 100 million years ago any better, if at all. But if a left-handed stegosaurus existed, it might very well have been a mutation, an aberration, like a male calico cat or a seedless watermelon. Or it's altogether possible they never existed at all, outside of scientific speculation. For whatever reason, or no reason at all, nature just didn't manufacture left-handed stegosaurs. In that case, the only time a left-handed stegosaurus would appear was when a stegosaurus looked at its own reflection. Possibly a stegosaurus came to a pool of water and saw its mirror image. If its walnut brain could muster enough processing power, it might get a fleeting glimpse of an animal whose wholly unusual and endlessly baffling design plan would occupy the imaginations of creatures a hundred million years in the future. Unlike flight or flippers or fingers, this particular body plan would never be repeated again. So the left-handed stegosaurus, the rarest of the rare, wouldn't truly arise until long after the disappearance of its chiral counterpart as it is a creature of pure speculation, one only we can behold, and only upon reflection. Special thanks to our Patreon patrons. Without you, the good stuff just wouldn't happen. So if you like what we do here, go on over to patreon.com slash thegoodstuff and become a supporter. Otherwise, you can like and subscribe to this channel, hit the notification bell so you know when the next video is coming out, and I'll be back in a couple weeks with a new video. Thanks for watching.